if you want to make sure that these elections are secure and that you can go back at any time and find out what happened, you got to have paper ballots. You know, when you're going through a campaign running for any office, from uh, local all the way up to federal positions, there's generally three or four big issues that when you knock on a door, somebody wants to talk about. Election integrity is pretty much at the top of everyone's list. Because in America, you know, the American Republic and the way we have secured elections, that's actually been an American way of life for more than two centuries. So for me, it's been a priority to make sure that we're requiring everything from a voter ID to making sure that we have a paper ballot trail and to make sure that we're not letting people vote early in a manner that is gonna really cause problems somewhere down the road. The best way to tie that up is to do business in the same way that this country has been doing business for more than 200 years, which is expect a vast and overwhelming majority of folks to show up on the day of election with an ID, hand marking a paper ballot that can be verified later if needed. So uh, shrinking that timeline is just closing additional doors that fraud can possibly happen in the process. Because look at the turmoil that has ensued since the 2020 election when all these questions came up, when all these uh, cracks in the foundation of integrity election has taken place and it's been, it's been a real problem. So for me, we gotta get that fixed. And more than that, we promised the people that sent us here into Washington DC that we would do so. 80% of all the dollars in circulation are, have, have been produced since 2020, that's going to lead to mass inflation. We have Joe Biden who's trying to blame world events for a problem that actually originates right here in America. We've got to get more of the folks that said they would be fiscal conservatives in campaign season to act like it when it comes to appropriating and spending government dollars. And if we don't, we're going to continue to see these outrageous uh, rates of inflation that may actually end up costing America its status as the reserve currency of the world, which could have devastating consequences, not just for the, the prices of everything, but uh, the economy as a whole. We want to make sure there's some accountability in that system, so we're actually looking at different legislation to make sure that the people who are on our welfare rolls should be there and qualify for the, those roles. Uh, but it, it's a constant fight because uh, in spite of our efforts, our welfare programs cost more than they ever have before in, in state history. Uh, if you look at our Medicaid program here in the state of Missouri, it was found to have more than a billion dollars of waste uh, just in every single year that we're wasting. Imagine what we could do with that extra billion dollars, not just in terms of spending our priorities more efficiently, but maybe we could do some tax cuts that will ease the burden on the people of the state instead of placing more burdens on them from government.